Whether you're on Windows XP or Mac OS X, the key to running a reliable and stable Nuendo system is to ensure that it's set up and configured properly before you dig in deep. In this tutorial, we'll guide you through the necessary steps to ensure that Nuendo is set up and ready to go for the tasks at hand. Before we begin this tutorial, it's important to note that as you're configuring Nuendo or making changes to your preferences and options, if you're ever unsure of what something does, you will always find a help button in whichever configuration window you are in. This automatically brings up a help menu that tells you exactly what each option does within the window you're looking at. This makes it extremely easy to get your answers without having to search through the entire manual to find what you're looking for. The first step in configuring Nuendo is setting up your audio interface. This is probably the single most important part of ensuring a stable and reliable environment for Nuendo. The first thing to do is to make sure you have the latest software drivers for your audio interface installed on your system. Working with incorrect or out-of-date drivers can cause lots of problems. Make sure to keep an eye out for updates that either fix known problems or sometimes even increase performance and stability. Once your audio interface is installed, you'll use the device setup window to configure Nuendo to use this audio interface. You'll find this in the main device menu. Once open, simply choose the VST multi-track category and a list of options will appear to help you get Nuendo working with your audio interface. The first step is to choose the correct drivers. Nuendo provides support for ASIO on Windows and Core Audio on the Mac. On Windows, you have several ASIO options available. However, it is always best to choose the ASIO driver that is specific to your audio interface. You can usually tell the right one by looking for the name ASIO along with your audio interface's specific name. Using the DirectX or Multimedia ASIO options usually results in poor performance. Once selected, you'll see a latency amount calculated for you. This will tell you approximately how fast your system will respond to transport commands, plug-in changes, and real-time virtual instrument playing. This is based on the buffer size you have set in your audio interface options. If you're not sure how to do this, then make sure to check with the manufacturer of your audio interface. The next option to release ASIO driver in background is used to allow Nuendo to release a driver if it's placed in the background. This allows other applications to use the audio interface while Nuendo is running. However, in my experience, this can cause problems, and I recommend to generally leave it off. I also recommend against running any other programs while running Nuendo. The only time this is feasible is if your audio interface actually supports multiple application use and can handle more than one program using it at the same time. Next, the Direct Monitoring option provides you with zero latency monitoring. This option is available only if your audio interface supports direct monitoring. The Expert button provides you with some additional options to fine-tune your system. Generally, you don't have to make any changes to these options. However, they can be useful if you're experiencing any problems. For example, the audio priority is probably the most important of them all, giving you the ability to fine-tune Nuendo to place more priority on the audio engine, the MIDI engine, or a balance of both. The multiprocessor option is automatically enabled if Nuendo detects a multiprocessor system. However, you have the option to disable this in case you have any problems with plugins causing stability issues or simply not working within a multiprocessor setup. If you're on the Mac in OS X, you'll see similar options as well. The only difference is you have the ability to set your buffer size directly from within Nuendo rather than from your audio interface's control panel. One important note about the Mac in OS X is, OS X provides you with a comprehensive audio and MIDI setup utility that is included with every installation of OS X. However, the audio settings in this utility have no bearing or effect on your settings in Nuendo. Nuendo will use its own configuration information and simply pays no attention to what you have set up for your OS. So keep this in mind, if you ever need to make changes to your OS settings, they will not affect Nuendo in any way. However, 
it is important that you configure your MIDI interface properly within OS X's utility, as this will determine whether the interface shows up properly within Nuendo. We'll get to the MIDI setup in just a minute. Now, after you've set up your audio drivers and ASIO options, it's time to set up Nuendo to use the actual inputs and outputs of your audio interface. This is covered within the VST Connections page, found in the Device menu as well. Here is where you can set up which inputs and which outputs are used on your audio interface for playback and recording. In the Inputs tab, you can create input channels, name them as you see fit, and then choose which physical port on your audio interface will be used to correspond with this channel. You can do the exact same thing for your outputs. You also have preset bus configurations, which include both mono stereo configurations and configurations for all types of surround output formats. An important note to remember, these options are saved and recalled per project. This works great for those times where you need to create customized I.O. setups for a particular project. Each time you load that project, your VST connection settings are recalled accordingly. 